and welcome to another uplifting episode of Furries in the Media. I'm your host, Abergwine, and today, let's check out a skit from Cyanide and Happiness called Put Him Down. Poor little guy. He's been sick for so long, and I feel so badly for him. Little buddy is in so much pain, I'm afraid the only option we have left is, uh, you know... Eh. Mm-hmm. Miss Livingston, this is an adult human being inside of an animal costume. Generally, most furries or therians wouldn't go so far as to be required to be transported in a cage instead of walking on their own, nor would they willfully stay silent during a conversation about whether or not they should be euthanized. I don't even think Boomer the dog would stay silent during a conversation where other people were deciding his fate. But in all fairness, the fact that the sun hasn't objected to any of this actually adds to the humor of the skit. No, you you don't understand. In the kingdom Fire of Dash is sick. He's been... He's been sick. He's been sick a long time. Even though the mother has insisted throughout the skit that her son is sick, it's not really clear if she truly believes that her son's behavior is the result of an illness. But assuming that her son has been living off of her as a leech for the past 24 years of his life, I can't really say whereas I blame her for her frustration with her son's behavior. Come on, Kurt. Are you going to let her treat you like this? Or are you going to stand up straight like a man and say, I'm here, I'm a magical dog boy, and I don't want to die, Mom? I don't appreciate you referring to me as a cisgender human male. I'm a trigender pyrofox. To be fair, if a person is so obsessed with their identity that they are more concerned with correcting people about their identity than with the fact that their life could be at stake, that is something they should probably seek medical attention for. Let's take a look at the review stats. Information accuracy is 50% and the spirit of the clip is 100%, giving us an average of 75%. And now time for my thoughts. This skit seems more like a harmless joke about the special snowflake stereotype that you would expect to find deep in Tumblr than against furries or Therians specifically. Given that the only thing the son talked about in the entire skit was his species and gender identity, to the point that he was more concerned with correcting people than with trying to preserve his own life, his mother may have been right to seek help for her son if he was truly this obsessed with the idea of being a trigender pyrofox. Obviously, euthanization would not be an ideal treatment for this, but the fact that the mother is considering that option for her son instead of traditional medical or psychiatric help is part of what makes this skit funny. If the son's behavior was really a problem that the mother couldn't fix or cope with, she could just kick him out and make him fin for himself. Honestly, I'm a little surprised that the veterinarian didn't suggest this, but I realized that if the show had offered that as an option, it would take away from the humor of the scenario. Needless to say, this family has some issues. I feel like both the mother and the son need a good intervention from Dr. Phil. I have to give kudos to the writers for making the vet try and work things out between the mother and son. It gives a good contrast to the extremes the mother and son exemplify, and it also provides a more in-depth look at these characters so we can see that neither the mother or the son is ever willing to budge, which makes the entire situation that much more absurd. Actually, this whole skit reminds me of a conundrum. If anthropomorphic characters existed, and if they got sick, would they go to the doctors or the vets? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Well, that's it for today's episode. Have fun, stay awesome. Bye-bye!